I'm just gonna, okay. Good morning. Mm. Hey guys, it's Sharon. So today, as you can see, it is not a normal video because I am still in bed. I just woke up. I decided, you know, I've never done this video before, but I make a lot of period related videos. I'm on my period. feels like I've been on my period forever. Let's do a period morning routine, but like a realistic one because I've seen some people are like, I work out for 30 minutes and then I read for two hours and then I make this full blown breakfast and then I do some other bunch of stuff and I'm like, absolutely not. Listen, I don't know about y'all, but I do not feel that motivated and that productive when I'm on my period. I feel motivated and productive after my period. I don't know why, but that's just how it is for me. So today I'm just going to show you my, uh, wow, I look naked with just a strap. Yeah, I sleep only in a tank top. I'm just going to show you my realistic period routine. So we just woke up. So right now I'm honestly probably definitely going to go uh, check myself. So I'm going to go pee. That's the first thing I do, especially when I drink like so much water at night. Like I'll wake up in the middle of the night and I drink so much water. So I wake up in the morning having to immediately pee and having my period doesn't help, which actually throughout this video, I'll be giving you some life hacks and some tips as well. And number one tip is obviously a life tip is to drink a lot of water, but drink a lot of water, especially when you're on your period. The reason you have to stay like extra hydrated when you're on your period is because like you're losing a lot of blood. There's a science behind it, I promise. And I talked about it in one of my videos and right now I don't remember and that's probably because it's like, I don't know. I don't know what time it is. It's like, I can't even read the time and have my glasses on. So it's early. You know, if you want to see more videos like this, where you come along with me on my period journey or just my journey in general, it's just vlogs basically. Give us a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below. Also, make sure to follow my Instagram, my Twitter, and my TikTok so you have a say in my videos, get a chance to be in them, and even get to be shadow of the day. And of course, you can definitely subscribe for more if you want to see more. But for now, let's get on over to the bathroom. It is actually very cold. I slept with like literally, look at this one, two, three blankets oh look at my little squish mellows wow we love to see them i'm gonna grab a cardigan because it's actually like really cold so give me a second it's like not even like freezing i live in florida the best part about my room is that it is immediately connected to the restroom hello <laughs> also i honestly i do not wear pants to sleep even when i'm on my period i still won't wear pants or even shorts actually i'm an underwear sleeper always have been another fun life hack if you don't feel too comfortable being too loose or if like you're scared that your pad will shift around in your sleep you can wear biker shorts you can wear two pairs of underwear or even actually no i wouldn't recommend wearing this like one of those um what are they called like shape shapewear because that seems too tight and honestly you don't want to wear tight clothing when you're on your period it does not help with your cramps and it also doesn't help you breathe as well so but to give you that peace of mind you can wear leggings biker shorts or just a second pair of underwear which is like my go-to <laughs> so i did put on lounge pants just for this video because i'm not going to show myself in my underwear on youtube not for free anyways kidding okay so first thing i'm going to do is obviously use the restroom <laughs> hello yes thank you Good news, I'm not bleeding too much, which to be honest, like I'm not much of a bleeder in the mornings. I usually don't really bleed that much in the mornings. It's actually either I really do or I really don't. It could be nothing or it could be everything. Like y'all, the other day, and when I say the other day, I mean like maybe two or three months ago, but like they all blend. I bled in the sheets so badly. Like it looked like a murder scene. And I haven't done that since I was in middle school and I was like, Oh my God, this is so bad. I had to strip the sheets and I had to strip the mattress cover. So fun little life hack, if you want to avoid that, set a towel down and sleep on top of a towel, maybe two towels. You know, the sheets are fine. Blood comes out, but like still now for the sake of what I want to talk to you about next, which is basically like my products that I use, I'm going to go back into my room and I'm going to shut on the ring light. Cause this like this, whatever that is, is killing me. I do want to show you my bathroom. So I have pads here oh my god i still haven't gotten rid of my halloween stuff because it's so cute and i have pads here and here and these are basically just drying from when i wash them so i'm just gonna grab this one it's pretty dry and we're gonna talk about reusable pads because that is my go-to product i live in reusable pads and the best part is i was so hesitant about them because like it's a reusable pad like it doesn't sound that effective for lack of better words y'all i tried these out for a youtube video which you can go check out it's like me trying out menstrual pad for the first time and ever since then i have not looked back i also tried a diva cup one of the little menstrual cups um not a fan i used to be a tampon girl but also you should not be going to sleep in a tampon so fun little life hack that's actually not fun the longer you 
you keep in a tampon, the longer you're exposing yourself to possibly getting toxic shock syndrome, which is something that is very, very rare, but it's something that you still do not want. So when you're going to sleep, always go for a pad, always go for overnight pads because they're larger. Like when I ordered my reusable pads, I got the large size. Also get pads with wings. That's my other thing. So the wings, these specifically, you just clasp on your underwear like this, like that. You can do the first button or you can do the second button. This actually doesn't shift as much as I thought it would, but again, to like maybe stop it from shifting, I'll wear two pairs of underwear if I don't feel that secure in it. I know it does not look that effective at all, but it has, I think like five or six layers in here. Y'all, when I tell you this collects so much blood, I hand wash these because you're supposed to hand wash them when you change them and then you like wring them out and then you let them dry and then you put them in the wash, right? I am so shocked every single time by how much blood it holds because when you think it's done, Done. It's like, but wait, there's more. Honestly, it's magic. The way I do it is I put one on, like I change one right before bed. That's after I shower and I could definitely do a night routine as well, like a period night routine. So let me know if you want to see that. I change and put one on right before bed. So I sleep with the new one on. Depending on how bloody I am in the morning, I'll change or I'll just keep it on until like maybe around like noon, midday. I really just go off how much blood is in it. Granted, you don't want to keep it on a long time either just because of that bacteria growing up in there getting and staying there so i think you can wear this for like 12 or 15 hours max don't quote me they're all different so if you're gonna buy one definitely look at how it is and what it's like i can link you guys down to the amazon link that i bought this from and you can read all of that stuff and decide from there but that is my routine when it comes to like changing my products in the morning it's literally just this bud today i don't have to change it so we're gonna stay in it until like lunchtime and hope for the best but now i'm gonna brush my teeth because like i could tell that I'm crusty right now. So, oh, another fun little life hack that I actually didn't know existed. Let me get this off my tripod. Don't mind me. <laughs> Apparently, if you're gonna brush your teeth, let me turn my rain light off. This just got so dark in here. If you're gonna brush your teeth, you either have to brush it right before you eat or wait 30 minutes from when you're done eating. I didn't know you had to wait 30 minutes from when you were done eating to brush your teeth. Apparently it's for your enamel. So I was like, huh, good to know. Now, actually, I'm just gonna put this right. Now I gotta get down at this level. Is that the sink? Oh, that's a toothbrush blocking it. <laughs> Okay, so here's my little toothbrush. What the hell is that? Move. <laughs> I'm just gonna get on my knees. <laughs> okay, then we're gonna brush our teeth and this very bad, horrible lighting, but like, it is what it is. I can't do this. Okay, this is bad on my knees. <laughs> Now that I've brushed my teeth, I have looked in the mirror and realized I have a zit. It's like getting red there. Don't know where it came from. Annoyed, but I am definitely more prone to breakouts on my period and it's very expected because of all the hormones you have. So that being said, I get asked a lot what my skincare routine is. If you knew me when I was like literally all the way from middle school to high school, my acne was so bad. It did not start getting better until like last year. And that's because I saw this TikTok that completely changed my life. And to be honest, I'm already getting hot. This is like the crappy part about Florida. It's like cold for like 20 minutes and then it immediately gets hot as hell already so let me just okay my skincare routine in the morning i wash my face with just water that's it no cleanser no soap nothing just pure water the only time i actually wash my face with a product is at night and it used to be every night and now i do it every now and then like probably two or three times a week and that product is this right here pure african black soap i don't know the benefits right now i'm not gonna lie but it's just really good for your skin and it does dry you out a bit which is why i don't use it that often granted i do have oily skin so it's not as drying for me as it could be for someone with dry skin i don't really have a skincare routine in the morning it's literally just at night so that's what I do so we're gonna wash our face with water now <laughs> put this up real quick and here's where I do like a TikTok transition no okay and don't be afraid to get up in there <laughs> I don't think that these zits are that bad because it's not like a whitehead, which to be honest, are like my number one enemy. When I do have a really bad zit, number one tip I wanna give you is do not pop them. And I know it's very tempting and I am 110% guilty of popping my zits. The reason I say do not pop them is because when you pop them, you're actually creating scarring. And on top of that, when you pop them, that bacteria is spreading to your other pores, which could essentially lead to more acne. So here's what I use. This is like so messy. There are these little 
patches. I've talked about them before in my videos. They are my lifesaver. They're my favorite thing ever. I just pop one of these on like it was a band-aid. Usually I wear them to bed. I'll just sleep with them on. And in the morning you see all of the white stuff on the sticker and it literally just sucks the zit out of you. I don't know how, but it's amazing. Which by the way, I have a video on period acne if you want to check it out. Now, depending on if I'm hungry or not yet, I will either just go to the kitchen and get my breakfast or I will read for a bit. I think right now I'm gonna read for a bit because I'm not that hungry. I started reading this new book. It's called The Guest List. A friend of mine recommended it to me. It's very Agatha Christie-esque. There's a book called And Then There Were None and it's basically like all these people go to an island and they all just die. Someone's a killer. So this is basically about um, a wedding being hosted at a remote island and people are getting killed. I just started reading that. I I'm gonna read it for a bit and then we're gonna go get breakfast and notice that I say get breakfast and not make breakfast but we'll get to that very soon. I dropped my water bottle. Stay hydrated kids. I read about two chapters. How long I read usually depends on how invested I am in the book. This one, we're taking it slow, nice and slow. Now, actually, I just remembered to take these right now since they're right here. So behind my YouTube plaque, I keep my vitamins. <laughs> so these are women's gummies. I take two of these every day. My gyno told me to take these, so I do. <laughs> two gummies. And now it's time for breakfast. Actually, before I get breakfast, I kind of want to change because I'm in my pajama top. We're going to keep the lounge pants on, but we're going to switch into this. So BRB, need my glasses. Hello? Yay. Well, look who we have here. Oh, I need a little cuties. This is Coco. This is Amaria. I'm allergic to them. <laughs> <laughs> I got to wash my hands now. So back to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> This is literally my daily struggle. The reason I said get breakfast is because I meal prep. So this is my breakfast. It's a breakfast pizza. This is literally like the easiest thing to make. I know it doesn't look appealing right now, but it's the lighting, it's not heated up. So this is literally just pizza crust and then I scramble some eggs and I put it on top and add some cheese and I add some bacon. This is a lifesaver because I don't actually have to make breakfast every morning and I just cook it on Sundays and I have it ready to go. So heat that up for like, like a minute and 20. The easiest breakfast ever. Amazing. I like to top it off with some ranch. Freaking love ranch. That is my breakfast. <laughs> and I know that looks like a super tiny serving. That's not the only thing I have for breakfast. So I recently started um, drinking this green smoothie that I saw on TikTok. I'm gonna make one. So I'll show you guys how to make it. It's especially really good when you're on your period because it's really good for like bloating and cramps because it has ginger and turmeric in it. So lots of healthy stuff as well. Like a banana, which bananas are also really good for when you're on your period too. Like if you could have a healthy go-to snack on your period, I definitely recommend it bananas there's like obviously science behind these and i know there's science behind why they're good for your period but i don't remember it off the top of my head right now especially because i'm still like waking myself up so i add a handful of spinach to my blender some frozen mango chunks a whole banana that i keep frozen two of these ginger and turmeric ice cubes that i make with like lime and oh and cucumber okay then add some water and blend <laughs> Amazing. I usually have some leftovers and I usually say that for like the next day. I definitely recommend if you're making like a green smoothie or a healthy smoothie not to do what I do and like save it for the next day, like leftovers, make like one serving only because the longer you let a green smoothie sit, uh, the more the nutrients kind of like diminish. So I just have a big blender. So I have one now and then I have a green juice tomorrow. That's basically my breakfast. To no cramps, cheers. And there is tomorrow's green juice. And now I'm in my home office, my newly turned home office. Peep the Squishmallow I got yesterday. They're literally everywhere. But anyways, that is essentially all I have for breakfast. And that is essentially my period morning routine because now I'm in the office and I pretty much stay here until like five or 6 p.m. just planning content, editing content, filming content, literally all I do is content related. I mean, it is my job after all, so it's no shocker there, but yeah, 
that's pretty much literally it for my period morning routine. Thank you for tagging along with me. I do want to know what your go-to period product is. And if you actually end up trying reusable pads or even this green smoothie, I am curious. So definitely let me know how that goes. Shout out of the day goes to Lily on Instagram. Thank you so, so much. If you like to be shout out of the day, just follow me on my Instagram and stay active. And if you want to see more videos like this, whether it's like a period night routine, a period routine, I don't know, my life, my day in a life and a period, my day in a life and a period, my day in the life with a period, whatever, any type of vlog like this, let me know. I'm so open to it. Oh, my arm is killing me. I got to work out. I should have turned this into a home gym, but that's besides the point. If you want to see more, subscribe for more and make sure you turn on your post notifications and I will see you guys next time. Bye.